Well, welcome back for another video. Uh, this is Mr. Tom, and this week we are going to learn how to make geodes out of eggshells. We call them eggshell geodes. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have seen geodes before, or at least heard of them. So a geode is a type of rock that's actually hollow in the middle. Uh, they kind of look like an oval shape, or like a sphere, um, but they're actually hollow inside. And they can grow crystals inside them, which is pretty cool. So basically what happens is inside that hollow space, the water can get in there and it mixes up with minerals that's in the rock, uh, but it actually gets on the inside and can actually form crystals. A uh, similar kind of thing actually happens in caves. Uh, so in a cave, sometimes you can get crystals. Uh, you can get what are called stalactites. So stalactites hang from the ceiling. Stalagmites actually grow up from the floor of the cave. Uh, but those are actually crystals, and they form because of the presence of water in there. Uh, so we're going to do something kind of similar. Let's get started. All right, well, let's take a look at our materials. So, eggshell geode, obviously, you make with an egg. So, I've got one egg left in here. And it can be a white egg, it can be a brown egg, it doesn't matter the color. Um, I just went ahead and got these because they came in a nice six-pack. Um, so, if you've ever cracked eggs before, I'll bet that usually when you crack them, you crack it so it goes, it breaks off like this, okay? And a couple ways you can do this. Um, one is you can actually just sort of roll it around a little bit and then kind of sort of smack, um, apply some pressure to it. Uh, the way I was taught, though, and I think a lot of people do this, maybe not, maybe I'm strange, um, is you go to the edge of a table, you can't quite see it on the camera there, uh, but you go to the edge of the table and then you bang it against the edge there and then it, you get just a little bit of a crack, just enough so that you can just peel it away and then the yolk comes out. But for this project we actually want to crack it lengthwise like this, okay, and it's a little trickier. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and make a little crack by banging it on the edge this way. So say this is the edge of the table, I'm just going to go like that. Alright, so I got a little bit of a crack started there. Well, this is all on camera, so I better not mess this up. Starting to get it. Oh, these eggshells, there we go. Normally the eggshells aren't this hard. I've had them for a while, I'm not sure if that has anything to do with it. But anyway, um, so I'm going to just take the smaller end aside. I'm going to leave this in here. Now, of course, if you happen to be making omelets or scrambled eggs or anything, you do this in the morning. Um, you can save your egg yolk, but I'm not doing any cooking here, so I'm just going to set this aside. Um, you'll notice, if you look closely, let's make sure we get all as much liquid out of there as you can, but if you look closely, there's kind of a thin white film in there. You want to try and get that out. Okay. And so you can start by just sort of peeling along the edge there. you got to have nimble fingers for this. And get as much, pull it carefully, you want to get as much out as you can. So see, it's starting to get, get it out from the inside. Okay, um, and you'll probably notice that there's still some weight in there. So a little trick for that to kind of help you is to take your thumb and just roll. Kind of push down into it and roll. You can start rolling it out. See, I got a little... Where is it? There it goes. A little chunk from out of there. All right, now I'm going to work on this for a little bit longer. Um, I won't let you sit through this whole thing. But what you want to do is you want to try and get as much of that sort of really thin white filmy stuff out of there. And you also want to rinse it gently and dry it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so I got that fairly well dried out of there. I got most of the uh, white filmy layer out. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take some regular you know, school glue here. And I am going to squeeze, 
squeeze some drops into the egg. One more. That should be good right there. All right, now. So close here. So you see I got some drops of glue. Now I'm just going to take my pinky finger and uh, what you want to do here is you want to spread that glue all the way around. All the way around the inside of your eggshell. Okay. So there you go. Let's spread it around a little bit more. Okay, I've got that coated on the inside with glue. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some borax. Now you can also do this with something called alum powder. Okay, but this is going to use borax, and I'm just going to use this table, empty some into the tablespoon here. And yeah, you could just go ahead and put the whole tablespoon in there. Um, you're not going to end up using all of the borax. But just rub, rub in there as much as you can, so it's going to stick to the glue. Okay, and then any, ex any excess in there, you can just actually might as well you go ahead and use the jar that we're going to be setting the eggshell in. So just tip it, pour the excess borax in there. But you see how most of it stays in there um, to coat it nicely because it's sticking to that glue. Now while this is drying. We are going to fill up our jar with four tablespoons of the borax and one cup of hot water. I'm going to start with the borax. too much there. It's okay, that's why I have this plywood here. Three. And that was way more than I needed. Let's say that's four tablespoons there. All right. So now done to the borax. We're done with the borax, I should say. Now we're going to move on to the hot water. Now I just boiled some water with a kettle. This has been sitting for, you know, Cooling for about 10-20 minutes though, so it's still pretty warm, but it's not boiling. You don't want to put straight boiling water in there. You want to let it cool for just a little bit. But nice thing about these uh, little mason jars is they actually have the measurements on there. I don't know if you can quite see that um, on the camera, but it actually shows you where one cup is. And see, this one goes up to a cup and a half, uh, but I'm going to fill this up to one cup of water. thing you want to do is you want to stir that up. And, and you want to keep stirring until you get most of it dissolved. Now once you see some in there that is not dissolved, that's what we call a super saturated solution. And a super saturated solution, what that means is there is so much of the borax, or it can be salt, sugar, whatever it is you're putting in there, that's not dissolving because it's already so saturated. All of the other stuff that you put in there is dissolved and it's just basically too full for the rest of it to dissolve. Okay. So if there's a little bit left on the bottom, that's okay, not a problem. Actually. break that up a little bit. Okay, I think I got that pretty well dissolved there. Uh, there's still a little bit left in the bottom, that's fine. Now I'm going to add some color to this. Alright, so with actual geodes, um, the crystals inside there that grow form different colors and that depends on what chemicals are in the surrounding rock. So if you've seen a geode before, if you've seen a picture of a geode, I'm sure a lot of you have seen the crystals 
that look kind of like a whitish or a clear color, uh, that's quartz, okay? But you can actually get different colors. So for example, you can get purple. Um, and purple crystals we commonly know as amethyst. Okay, but you can actually get amethyst inside a geode. You can also get some kind of bluish colors. Um, you can get yeah, a, lot of, a lot of different sorts of different colors, um, even yellows in there. And again, that just depends on what chemicals are in the surrounding rock that the water is mixing with once it seep, when it seeps inside that hollow cavity. So I'm going to use red for mine. Okay, now... I am going to carefully take, this should be dry enough now, my geode, my eggshell geode, and I am going to carefully place it, okay? Now, here you can take, oh, well, it looks like it's sinking on its own, but sometimes it wants to stay afloat. If it does, you can just sort of gently poke it down with a measuring spoon or a stick. Um, so... Well, there you go, and then in a day or so, so give it 24 hours, you should start seeing crystals growing on the inside. Now, the reason we put a coating of uh, the borax on the glue inside the eggshell before we even uh, put this in there is just to kind of help it get it started. It sort of speeds up the reaction a little bit. Um, it gives something for that borax to kind of crystallize onto as it cools. All right, now this is one that I did a couple of days ago, actually. Let's just take a quick peek. So here you have to be careful taking it out. Although, with the crystals on it, it will be a little more sturdy. But you can see, hopefully, on camera, that I'm starting to get some red crystals in there. And you also have some on the outside, too. Yeah, and then you can let that go as long as you want. Um, if it turns out after a day you're just really not getting much crystal growth in there, then what you can do is just simply add more borax. Um, and you know, maybe you can uh, pop, it, pop, the, pop the jar in the microwave so you heat the water a little bit more. Put some more borax in there. Just kind of measure slowly as you go. It's, it is a bit of a trial and error. Um, but yeah, should be roughly four tablespoons of borax to one cup of warm water. And as it cools and as you wait over time, you should start getting crystals on the inside of there. And a fun little bonus thing you can do uh, when, when you uh, take this out and you got your crystals on there and you let this sit and dry for a bit, it's kind of fun to take some modeling clay and you can put some clay around the edges and you can paint it. So you can paint it whatever color you'd like if you want it to look like a sort of a gray rock. Imagine showing your friends, this is, oh, it's just, you know, gray, it's a gray rock, but you turn it around and they see crystals inside there. So, I'm plop this back in here. And let it sink down. All right, now, I've got a bit of a mess to clean up here, but I hope you enjoy that and I'll see you next week for another video.